Hi, Collective. Welcome back, everybody. I'm having my coffee with you again. I don't know. Uh, I got a coffee with everybody. I think now I drink a lot of coffee. I know that. Let's see, Collective, what the messages are going to be concerning this Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine Karmic uh, Journey Ride that we found ourselves on here. Spirit is revealing a lot of messages, I can tell you that. What are the messages concerning this situation between Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine Spirit? What is it that you would like to reveal? Divine Timing, first card out. Second card out is Courage and Bravery. Strength and guidance. Hmm. And ask and ye shall receive here. Ask and receive. Hmm. Sight camp. Spiritual growth. That's what it's all about. Harmony and resolution. Angelic protection is here. Do the work. Telling this person, do the work. Clear, cancel, and re release. So, for now, it's like taking a step back, okay? To clear, cancel, and release what is no longer for a higher good. Whether this is a sacred union or whether this is a soulmate connection or whether this is just outside interferences that are coming in. It's important to take this time to take this step back to gain spiritual growth. There will be harmony and resolution to this. Just saying. It's in divine timing. It's not when we will it. It's when it's with perfect timing. Okay. That's what's going on here. In the meantime, spirit is saying, do the work, whatever clear cancel and release all that is not for our higher good. Ask and ye shall receive if you need strength and guidance. Ask and if and you shall receive if you need courage and bravery. And that's the journey here, guys. This is what is going on currently. Why is this card sticking out to me here? I'm going to pull a tarot card on this one because... I'm being told to this clear, this cancel and release. Spirit, what does this mean? This clear, cancel and release. Pushing back negative energies for sure. Soulmate came out. First card out. Clarify this. Clear, cancel, and release. Ah, told you. The magician is here, guys. Yeah. Clear, cancel, and release. King of Cups appears. Frick. Yeah, yeah, I know this, what this is saying. <sighs> Guys, you're being asked to put push back, clear, cancel, and release this soulmate connection at the moment. Not to give up on it, if that's your will. There is unforeseen forces, okay? 
that are going on that we may or may not be aware of. And we are supposed to cancel those energies, especially if people are using magic. All right? This person is missing you. They're being left out in the cold. They could be sick. I don't know. There's magic being done. And I'm not talking about the kind of magic, although for some it is, spells. I'm talking about that's why you have to push this energy back, clear, cancel, and release it at this given moment because there is hocus pocus going on, okay? Whether it's your person doing it or whether it's people around them doing it, there is a lot of negative energy around this connection and spirit is telling you to protect yourself you have angelic protection around you but it is spiritual warfare guys making this person has to do the work we cannot be magicians okay and do the work for them it is something that this person it is a personal journey and I'm telling you, I don't care if it's the karmic doing magic, your person doing magic, or other people doing magic. You can't do magic, okay? Repel it. Send it back. Because this is a personal journey and maybe somebody out there needs to learn this. But I'm telling you right now. It is a personal walk, a personal journey. Clear, cancel, and release that energy. Because what is coming with that connection at this time, if the person has not done the work, you are drawing in other energies that you are not aware of. That's why you're being told, take this time, To do your spiritual growth, clear, cancel, and release all other energy, negative energies, this focusing on this soulmate connection stuff, release it. Let them do the work. Focus in on your spiritual path, your spiritual growth. The rest will fall in line. Harmony and resolution is here. There will be a resolution and harmony will be restored. But you're not doing it like this. What's going on here? Clear, cancel. Yeah, because karma is going around, guys. Yeah, I know it's sad, but Spirit is clearly saying take a step back, be the hermit. And do the work. Okay? Uh, there is a magician at work here. It's interesting. There is a magician at work here. Okay? That's why. People try to enforce their own will on another human being. It will backfire. It's their personal journey. I don't care who's doing magic. Don't matter to me. The work is still going to get done. Yeah. It's very selfish at this time. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. The past. Clear, cancel, and release the past. A lot of people aren't going to like that, but you know what? It is what it is. This is what the messages are saying. Karma is coming around. 
You don't want to be caught doing magic while karma is going around because if you are, it's going to come back and hit you in the ass. Someone is and it's got to stop. Spirit will take over. You can't harm the Divine Feminine. There is angelic protection around this union. The more magic you're doing, the harder it's going to hit you. It's very clear message. So clear, cancel, and release. Back to sender. It'll go back to sender. So who's ever doing that, you got to stop. Ten of Cups. This was somebody's happiness. It was the Emperor's happiness. It is the Emperor's <laughs> as above, so below. Karma has to play out. Hmm. Yeah, past betrayal. It's going to be returned back to sender, guys, so be careful. Who's ever doing magic to hold a masculine or a feminine, it will be returned back to sender tenfold. Be careful. You don't need to do it. You need to protect yourself. This union is divinely protected. Jeez, man. Creating weakness, and it, it, it is. Courage and bravery is required here, okay? Somebody is being told to do the work. This emperor is weak. Could be weak due to magic. Could be weak, period. Send your blessings, send your prayers, and send it back to where it belongs, to the people that need it. Okay? If somebody is doing magic to hold an emperor, it's coming back to you tenfold. It is a warning from spirit, not from me. I, I don't believe in that, okay? Personally. But... You need to stop because it's coming right back to sender tenfold. And who's ever doing this to this union, it's got to stop. Period. Like it's foolery. You need. Yeah, it's protected, guys. You know, especially like people do things to like make the emperor weak or the empress weak. What it does is make them strong. Just know that. Because this is a union that is protected. Somebody's doing something to keep somebody blocked or bound or stuck. Gotta stop. It is not yours to decide. Okay? You need to look after your own business. That's what Spirit is saying. Somebody is trying to keep an emperor weak. <sighs> so you count your blessings, you know? This is a blessed situation. Spirit is in control of this union. Divine timing is divine timing for a reason. Just whatever. Live your life. Let spirit be spirit and let spirit do spirit's work. Karmic cycles. Coming to an end, I'm telling you. It's that plain. It is that simple, guys. It's not me doing this, you know. Who's doing this? It's not me doing it. You know, for real, 
I didn't even want to do Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reads because of this reason. I have no choice. It's my obligation, my duty to do, okay? Didn't ask for it. Karmic cycles are going to come to an end. And karma will go around. You need to, to stop doing magic. You need to stop it. Because it's coming back at you. Spirit is also trying to protect you. Who's ever doing that? Just saying, you, you're not in control of the universe. Who's ever doing this? You're not in control. There is one person in control, and that is spirit. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Someone's doing magic to control a emperor, keep them weak, keep them hanging on to them, hanging on to them. Hmm. Whether that's with words, whether that's with sexuality, whether that's with tricks, magic tricks, manipulations, it doesn't even matter because spirit will have spirit's way. Just saying. <laughs> Karmic is angry. Aggressive. Willing to fight for anything, at any cost, at any expense. Well, if that be the case, it may cost them more than they think. It's a heck of a big price to pay. Okay? Just saying. Whatever words are being sent out, Whatever is being sent out over the airwaves here into the environment, it's not going to matter because this emperor is going to leave anyway. You will reap what you have sown. I'm telling you, that's a major, major warning. Doesn't matter how many mind games, how much jealousy, the karmic is jealous, enraged because they are being ignored, because they're trying to keep this emperor from moving on and leaving. And they're going to find their true love anyway. So... What you give out will come back to you. If you've sown good seeds, it will come back to you. All the blessings. If you are sowing negative energy and sending it in someone else's direction, it will come back to you. Just saying. Yeah. This contract, okay, nothing will stop it. So it's like, don't take a risk because you're going to, I'm telling you. It's a dark, dark place to be in. Crossing the reed here. Take a step back. That's the separation card. Rest. Do your spiritual work. I think that the emperor is taking a break. I do. Recharging their batteries. You know what I'm saying? And this karmic is trying to hold on to this emperor that to avoid this ending but the truth of the matter is it's going to
because they are going to offer their love cup to the person they love, the one that they are passionate about, the one that they were meant to be with, okay? You can't stop somebody. No, spirit will not allow it. So it's like all this generated karma that people are building up just do good works get yourself some blessings get yourself some spiritual growth ask for help because there is going to be harmony and there is going to be a resolution to whatever this is it's angelic protection over this if you harm something that is divine it gets sent right back upon your own head like why don't people get that spirit is saying this is the truth the tower will fall plain and simple truth is truth the tower will fall Somebody sitting here in their emotions. Causing distrust in this uh, twin flame journey and their stability. It's going to be rebuilt. That is the peace and harmony. It's going to be rebuilt. Whether you rebuild on your own, whether you rebuild with this person, does not matter. If you have sown good seeds, it's coming back to you. If you have sown only spirit knows the hearts of men and women. I don't have to know it. I don't need to know it. <laughs> Spirit knows it. There will be no victory. Okay? Hmm. Rulers will rule justly. And it, it's so plain there is no victory in keeping someone that don't want to be there there is no victory in <sighs> holding someone against their wheel whether it's energetically or any otherwise okay that is the truth there's no victory in it That's that generational wealth here, guys. That's the that's the blessing in it all. Okay. Karma's karma. You sow good seeds, you'll be blessed tenfold. You sow nasty seeds, casting out negative uh, magic against humanity or a person or any other thing. It comes back to you tenfold okay in a negative way it's right here it's very crystal clear yeah because this emperor is going to see the truth about who this karmic is one way or another i mean the blinders will come off whether you choose this person to come back and reunite with them or not the karmic is going to lose that's what spirit is saying not me you know what? I couldn't give a darn. Because <laughs> I know spirit, spirit. Spirit will do as spirit does. I have no control. How can, an, uh, how can a creator create a heaven, an earth, sun, moon, stars, and not be able to deal with a little karmic? It's just ridiculous to think so. So... Yeah, they're trying to be 
uh, unstable. They're coming unglued. They're, yeah. It's going to end. That's the death card. I can't make it up. How far are you willing to push spirit's buttons? Because you're not pushing my buttons. You're not pushing the divine uh, feminine's bush buttons. You are not pushing the divine masculine's buttons. You are pushing spirit's buttons. It really doesn't matter what you do to the collective, to me, to anyone. You're pushing spirit's buttons. You know what I'm saying? And it will be to your own demise. Just saying. So it would be wise to seek some wise counsel and do the work. Okay? Ask for it. If you're unsure, ask. And you'll receive it. It's that simple. It's all in divine timing. Guys, it's got nothing to do with divine femme, divine masculines. It's to do with just do good works. Sow good seeds. And don't worry about the rest. Let spirit worry about the rest because mm. rulers will rule just justly and no one has removed spirit off the throne period why is this so hard for people to get i do not know karmics spirit rules justly okay so all this brouhaha about the magic and all this other stuff, no one has removed spirit off the throne. Okay? They're on the throne. Spirit is on the throne and will rule justly. Whether anybody likes it or doesn't like it, it's irrelevant. As above, so below, on earth as it is in heaven. Mm. So you need to clear, cancel, and release. Whatever you're doing, whatever it is. That's what the collective has done. Cleared, canceled, and released. And letting this person do the work. And the karmic needs to release and let this person grow on their soul path. Let them grow. You're not in control. Spirit is in control sitting on the throne. Nobody removed this person off their throne. Nobody could remove this person off their throne. It will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Period. Rulers will rule justly, and spirit's the ruler. Okay? So whatever magic, whatever spells, whatever vindictiveness, whatever is manipulative, whatever is this that's trying to keep the emperor or the empress, take it as it resonates, off their path, they will fall. Slow and steady wins the race. When it is time, it will be time, and no one can stop it. Hmm. Seek wise counsel. High priest, high priestess. This is wise counsel. This is spiritual. You cannot change spirit. Doesn't matter if your focus is the coin, it will be taken. Period. Because this emperor is going to choose to be single for a while. Okay? Just as you are. Mm -hmm. 
very nurturing psychic energy here. What's going on? Hmm. Going to be heavily burdened, I'm telling you. Whoever is doing this magic, the karmics, whatever methods that they are using to keep someone from their life path will be heavily, heavily burdened. This emperor will be heavily burdened because they walked off their path. Here is the empress sitting here listening and taking wise counsel here. It doesn't matter because the masculine is pushing away the karmic, the other lover. They're pushing them away. The karmic does not want to see it is in denial, stressed out, setting up, doing magic, I'm telling you, conjuring, hello, full of chaos and conflict, fighting, arguing, I don't know, being treated like, uh, you know, this person's in it, this They're a player at this moment. And they're coming toward their divine partner and they are being watched by the third party. So spy all you like. <laughs> Just saying. Mm. When they spy... <laughs> They're going to see that this divine partner, their counterpart, is happy and content. And they are heartbroken. And the karmic will be heartbroken. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep this emperor stuck with deception and sexuality. They're not going to look in another direction. That's what spirit is saying. They're looking for the next lay, okay? Even if they're with the karmic. So what is the karmic winning here? Nothing. They're looking for something that is loyal, dedicated, worthy. Because they did the work. That's when you are spied on. That's what they see. You're happy that you're stable, that you are worthy. You know your worth. That's, you know your own value. So you've done the work collective. And this person is looking back, still passionate, okay? It's like, whatever, whatever. I'm hearing messages. It's like I'm not letting the karmic take over this read spirit. And I'm not supposed to. Spirit is as spirit does. I don't care who you are on this journey. Spirit will rule justly. Because, you know, we had that reading earlier about... Uh, generational curses and all that stuff. Well, this is the age of Aquarius and that's why it's going to happen. And people who are like, just forget about it. Clear, cancel and release. Let spirit do the work. Divine feminines who are upright, don't worry about it. Let spirit be spirit. Divine masculines who are upright, do not worry about it. Go live your life and enjoy it and let spirit do the work. It's not our work to do. It's spirit's work to do and spirit will do as spirit does. <laughs> and that's what this is saying. So you guys just focus in on your, uh, on your own life path and enjoy it.
enjoy your life. Don't worry what the karmics are doing and don't worry what uh, the other divine counterpart is doing it. I know curiosity is just fine. You know, we wouldn't be human if we didn't. But just know that Spirit is speaking loud and clear at this time. There has been so many angels that have been sent to the earth and new earth angels being w awakened this portal that you have nothing to worry about, not a thing. As many angels as are required will be sent. And it's looking like Spirit is sending an army <laughs> to be real. There's a lot of people on this earth and, you know, you just never know who's who at the zoo and I'm telling you right now, you have nothing to worry about. You have nothing to fear. You don't need to do deed for deed here, eye for eye here when you got spirit doing it for you. So just know you're divinely protected. Call upon the angels if you're feeling weak. Call upon the angels if you're feeling afraid or you're trying to have, if negative energy is being sent your way, you know what to do. That's why you're the divines. But this is a reassurance um, for the collective that indeed a dread army is being released. Feel comforted in knowing that. Take care, guys.